I once jerked off five times a day for months and I felt horrible and it was a very toxic time that I'm very grateful to have passed now and today I'm going to help you break free from this. I hope I have your attention now after I just said I, that I jerked off five times a day as a routine, right, as a habit, <laughs> sort of. <laughs> and. I hope that you realize that I'm not one of those fucking cringy YouTubers who records videos in his mom's basement, in literally his mom's basement, <laughs> um, who tries to tell you something about discipline and all these things, right? Listen, in terms of nofap, I think that nofap is the hardest self-improvement habit that you can do. And to get started on this takes balls because you will think, oh, you, my, my dick will get shorter or I will I will last longer in bed if I, if, I, if, I, if I jerk off every two hours or something. I thought this and I felt victim and I fell victim to exactly these thoughts. And I have made two videos on this that I'll both link in the info card that you can watch that helped me massively, right, to realize the things that I teach in those videos. Now, many people either tell you that the best way to do nofap is to do 20 push-ups every single time you get desire to jerk off, or they will tell you delete Instagram, which is fairly okay advice, or they will tell you just do it, just have the motivation, watch this video every single day. Mm. Listen, all the ways you heard of are absolute bullshit. You can trust none of them because all of them are just trying to upsell you and all of them are just trying to funnel you onto their next video. What I want to teach you in this video is how to get rid of your desire to jerk off, not how to get rid of this symptom because you have, you have to see it like this. Society has programmed you to have something called bad mental health. Bad mental health is caused by too much dopamine during the day, bad sleep, bad, like, bad, 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 um, bad frequency with women, right? A bad, a bad energy towards women. And by all the things society these days tells you is good. So you've been programmed to be exactly the way you are. So you have no fault in this. You have been manipulated by evil machineries by evil propaganda and genuine agendas that have been pushed to make you this way. Because jerking off every single day is basically castrating yourself. You rid yourself of your entire desire because you basically fool your body into thinking that it just had sex. Otherwise, you wouldn't jerk off. You're essentially fooling your body into believing that you just achieved the height of the masculine, um, of the masculine energy. You fool your body into this. And this happens twofold. First of all, you trick only your old brain. Your new brain realizes that this is porn that you're watching right now. Your old brain, however, thinks, oh no, this is real, he's fucking real women. Oh my God, he has so much. He has so many women around him. He needs testosterone, he needs everything. Oh my God, he's just a Chad. Right? And your new brain will get this and will get, motherfucker, please shut up. This guy is jerking off to his fucking phone on the toilet for the fifth time today. And your old brain will still think, oh no, 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 no. He's around the campfire right now. He's fucking all the women in the tribe. He's gonna get many, many sons from this. He's a strong alpha male. He needs testosterone. He needs cortisol. He needs all these, all these big, strong hormones. He needs the big hormones, right? But your new brain will tell you, no, he's a loser. And unfortunately, you only hear your new brain arguing against your old brain. Your old brain, you cannot hear because it's subconscious. You hear, however, your new brain. And that is the voice that is post-not clarity. Post-not clarity is your new brain arguing against your old brain. 
Now this isn't the scientific stuff that you will see on like some doctor's page, but this is how it really is. This is the bro science version of what they will tell you in very difficult 10 page articles. Your old brain is arguing against your new brain and you only hear your new brain trying to shut your old brain up because your old brain and your subconscious is responsible for the for the for the for the hormone distribution and your new brain doesn't want to get flooded with all these hormones because it sees he doesn't need this right now he doesn't need testosterone but your old brain wants to flood you further because he thinks he's going to get children he needs to fight for his wife. He needs to fight for his tribe. He's gonna be the leader of his tribe. He just fucked all the women in the tribe. But your new brain will say, shut up. You're a loser. He's a loser. He deserves nothing but pain. And this is what you hear. And this is the first side in which fapping breaks you. And you can break this by simply not fapping. But how do we do this? Not fapping is, has become difficult. It has become difficult because society made you this way. And I want to explain something to you. You jerking off isn't the cause of your problems. Even though it's, it seems like I just told you that it's the cause of your depression, the cause of your anxiety around women, the cause of all of these things. It is really the, the symptom. And you feeling bad around women is another symptom which then becomes the cause of what really is the cause which is bad mental health. Mental health is this weird thing that has come up um, in the past two years. And mental health is basically how good you feel inside your own body. Do you love to be yourself? Do you love your life? If not, you probably are gonna have not as good mental health. And I'm not saying that you need to go to therapy or something or, or that you should go to a doctor if you have bad mental health. You can correct all of this for free by yourself at home. You don't need to visit a fucking therapist. You don't need to go to better help. You don't need to enroll for fucking 50 bucks an hour. You can do this for free for yourself with just this. With just a little notebook that this one is like 15 bucks, but you can buy one for like 30 cents at the next best Walmart or, or you can just use literally blank paper where you get like a thousand sheets of paper for, for like three bucks or something. So you can use anything to write on. You can even use your phone if you can't afford a three dollar uh, thing because but it's way better to write on paper because it's it, it's like way more way more intuitive to write on paper and I think it's worth investing investing the money because I have personally invested into many, many expensive journals, like $30 books um, that have like 100 pages or something because it's worth so much to me. And you're gonna do the following three habits. You're gonna go into nature, you're gonna take long walks. Then you're gonna meditate, which I'm gonna explain how to do that in just a second. And you're gonna do gratitude journaling. Now I think we can skip walking in nature because that's clear how to do that. You get your shoes on and you get outside. I would recommend one hour to half an hour a day. You don't need to go longer at about half an hour to one hour. You have reached the maximum potential and after that it's like exponential growth, right? It goes like this in the first hour and afterwards it goes like this. You of course still get a benefit for the more the better, but it doesn't really get better after one hour. So after one hour, you've harvested 90% of the benefits from nature, which is mainly sunlight, movement, and some like micro muscles that help you digest food better and that help you breathe better throughout your day. Now, how to meditate. You have to imagine meditation like a quick time event in a video game. I'm sure you're familiar with this. The quick time event where it starts here, it ends here. If you're here, you lost. If you're here, you won. And what you do is you start your meditation right here and then you get more and more unfocused. Focus on your breath right now. You focus on your breath, you breathe in and you breathe out. And over time you get more and more small thoughts and then the thoughts will get bigger and then you will realize, oh shit, I'm lost in thought. And then you press the button like in the video game again and it goes back to being focused. And this is the process of meditation. You start here, you get unfocused, you realize that you are unfocused, you realize that you're worrying, 
that you are being unmindful and then you press the button, you focus again on your breath and then you get back to being focused. And the more you do this, the more you do this process, the better, right? The longer you can do this sort of quick time event in your head, the better you will be at it and the slower this line will um, will progress and the harder it is gonna be for the line to progress. And at some point, you're gonna be able to be just like this for half an hour, one hour, two hours, the whole day even. The goal of meditation is to be mindful throughout the entire day. So definitely pay attention to that too. That you are during the day in those boring moments, not just pulling out your phone and looking on Instagram. The third habit that I'm gonna present to you is gratitude journaling. And gratitude journaling is you journal on the things you are grateful for having happened in your day. And you're gonna write, I am grateful because I was in the forest today. And while you write this down, while you write down, I'm grateful for X, Y, Z, while you write that down, you are gonna think about why am I grateful for this? And what is gonna happen is you're gonna figure out what are the virtues of my mind? What is important to me? What makes me become a more grateful human being? And then you can just spam the things that make you happy. And not, 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 not the things that make you happy because happiness is temporary. Gratitude is forever. The things that make you grateful and that make, and that make you proud of what you did, those things, do them more. If you're grateful for being in nature, be in nature, be in nature more. If you're grateful for being in the gym, be in the gym more. All these things that you're grateful for, do them more and your mental health will get better. It will help you get better mental health and therefore if you do these three things, just these three things, you can add the gym in there, you can add a dopamine detox in there, which I explained in the video that is in the end cut. You can do all these things, you can add as many things as you want in there, but only if you tried them out and you were grateful for having done them, then you can add it in. You can go to the gym and if you are grateful for having gone to the gym, if you're grateful for having had the discipline to go there, then you should probably do it more often. Because if you are grateful for your life long enough, right? If, if you're grateful for one hour a day and then you do more of that, then you're grateful for two hours a day. And at some point you will be grateful for 24 hours a day and you will love your life and your bad mental health will fade. And this is how you then erase your bad mental health. And if you cure the fever, then the headache will go away and the cough will go away and the sticky nose and the stuffy nose will go away. And if you cure your mental health, fapping will go away, porn will go away, Instagram will go away, phone addiction will go away, and all the things all the other YouTubers wanted you to solve by simply having willpower or discipline, all those things will simply be erased by you erasing the cause of them and by simply ripping out the root. Why should we cut over or cut away a tree all fucking all the fucking time because it will regrow it will grow strong and it will grow big again why don't we just rip out the entire tree why don't we just grab bad mental health by the throat like a bitch <laughs> and just rip it out i hope this video helped you and if it helped you you can click right here to get my dopamine detox guide that i put together for you now have a nice day and master your mind.